okay uh, thanks ajita for joining uh, can you please introduce yourself uh, sir i am ajita uh, i have completed my masters in chemistry uh, from uh, kerala mg university and uh, now i am looking for my further studies in abroad okay uh, you are looking for phd if i am correct yes sir yes sir okay great um so ajita like which exams have you cleared so far uh, have you written ielts have you written gre uh, yes sir i have uh, i have cleared ielts exam okay can i know what what was your band in ielts uh, it was overall 6.5 6.5 okay it's it's uh, just to mention it's it's completely okay you are in already in safe zone so you can go ahead with 6.5 anywhere okay yeah uh, moreover have you started looking like which particular country you are going to target or which particular domain you are more inclined towards like chemistry itself has multiple directions right uh yes uh, i am interested in um, european countries as well in mm-hmm. us and canada also mm mm-hmm. and uh, i am looking in my uh, in my field itself uh, like uh, i have done my masters thesis in um nmr spectroscopy like the self assembly of amino acids like that and i have published uh, one paper okay uh, that's why that's why uh, that's my master thesis itself mm-hmm. so i'm interested in my field that uh, that field itself. great um can i know what was your cgpa throughout um like in your bachelor's in your masters uh in my bachelor's it was 7.9 on 10 and uh, my masters it was uh 4.2 on 5 okay great uh so you have maintained um at least b grade if if i consider it on a european scale uh, it's at least b okay so okay. B, b b is good i mean you are already more than eligible okay if if at all considering eligibility criteria so okay. for for me what i can see right now is like uh, you have to first what you need to do is you need to f- finally shortlist like uh, which programs you are going to apply okay so there are two methodologies in europe okay like if you if you want to proceed there are two methodologies first is reaching reaching out to the professor and applying for a specific scholarship individually and other method is applying to the open positions directly okay okay so yeah so uh, what what i suggest is you just make a balance of both the things you uh, you apply for uh, um, you apply for the open positions along with that you also apply for uh, also start emailing to the professor since you have already mentioned that you have ielts document ready i believe you you might have already um, gotten your uh, transcript and all those things sorted as well so you you are equipped with all the required documents right yes sir yeah in that case uh, i suggest you to go with both the methodologies you can you can um, what you need to do is you need to have one cover letter okay cover letter is something that is very important uh, when you apply for a phd in europe okay so do you have cover letter ready yes sir it's ready great uh, do you have your cv ready yes sir transcripts uh, sir uh... um they they sheets are all ready uh, but i think official transcripts are not uh, with me okay uh, okay but you have semester wise results right yes sorry it's there great great okay you have transcripts as well uh, yes sir okay great um then there is one more document required is uh, your diploma certificates as in like your btech degree certificate and uh, your masters degree certificate uh okay uh, sir uh, what is the difference between this transcript and grade uh, card semester wise okay okay the difference between transcript and semester wise results is like transcript is a single piece of document where all the semester wise results are displayed okay it's a single piece of document it may be in landscape format or a4 portrait form format but uh, it contains all the sem- sem- all semester results in single sheet but semester wise results are like uh, individual sheets that you get every semester after passing it okay 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 so okay. you have both the documents or you don't have um, transcript Uh, i have date card i don't have transcript okay that's okay but you can still apply for a transcript to your university okay from from where you have done bachelor's and from where you have done masters okay okay 
um then do you have um this document um um yeah i i was a degree certificate do you have your degree certificate diploma yes yeah, sorry it's yeah, yeah. Okay, I believe then you already have most of the documents. And uh, do you have a certificate uh, of the conference, uh, attending the conference and presenting the paper where you have uh, been to? Great, great. You are already equipped with most of the documents. So um, what I suggest is let's have another meeting, um, not recorded, but uh, let's have another meeting where uh, I can show you like how to apply for open positions and uh, emailing professors is something that you have to do on your own. Okay, we we will be suggesting you the professor names or uh, the the lab names or department names where you can specifically target. But uh, uh, I can show you like uh, how you can you know. Uh, at least apply to the open positions so we will uh, we, what we will do in the next meeting is like we will go through the uh, each university uh, at least one university from one country and i'll be at least um, suggesting you five countries to apply so that we can cover one university from one country and you will be covering five countries for the demo okay okay yeah so let's let's do like that and uh, we meet again then okay okay thank you sir Yeah.